were fishing in luxury on board a magnificent 51-foot Viking called Gale Force. It's a bit of a mixed bag as we head to the shelf chasing deep water fish, then it's back in close for some jigging for kingfish. It's going to be a jam-packed show. Trying to survive, barely getting by. Feels like a lifetime till payday. Come the weekend, I'm gone again. Fishing my cares away. So if I hook a big one, or I hook a small one, I'm hooked on fishing again. I'm hooked on fishing again. After seeing some liveys on the sounder, we pulled up and tried our luck. It always pays to get some liveys before you start your day's fishing, cause you never know when you might just need some. Louis on? Yep. Yakka. Bit of a mixed bag at the moment. Blimey, that's the one we want. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Nice, Lou. Nearly took some drag off that one, Louie. Look at that. Just another ten of them, Lou. We'll be right, mate. When the seal turned up, it wrecked our chances of getting any bait. So it was time to head out the Browns Mountain to chase some deep water species. Well this week we've left Sydney, we're on a uh, Viking 51 foot from Sydney Game Fishing Club. Uh, beautiful boat and it's called Gale Force and it's a way to go out in luxury today, we're in a bit of a luxury boat. It is mate, we've come a fair way offshore, we're out at a beautiful place called Browns Mountain. That's right. We're a long way in a lot of water, about four to five hundred metres of water, chasing some big fish today, there's a lot of big fish out this way. Now you brought Robbie with us? Yep, Robbie, welcome to the show in Newcastle. Thanks for having me Hopefully we can get him a, uh, a blue-eyed cod out here even. That's right, we've got Louis Lengel, he's in the background at the moment getting our reels ready. And Louis from Otto's Tackle World, so we'll talk about baits and rigs later on. But mate, big fish, solid fish, best eating fish. Yeah, they're beautiful table fish. And uh, Papuka are also out here. And That's few, right. Uh, like we said, the blue-eyed cod. And, and jammies. On, jammies as well. I guess later, later on we might even uh, go back in and chase a kingy or two. That's right. While the skipper got the boat in position, both thought it would be a good idea to drop the spin reel down, 450 metres. I don't think he thought he'd hook up in 10 seconds. How you going there, Bo? Yeah, alright mate. The smart right. man who wanted to use a spin reel down <laughs> on that uh, brown idea, but, uh, We threw it down about 420 metres here, and um, it's a long way back up. I think we hit the bottom and we hooked up straight away, I'm not sure. It took about five minutes to hit the bottom and it'll <laughs> take about half an hour to wind it back in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. I'll be a big bit of coral, my luck. <laughs> got a sail. Loy! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, wow! Yeah. Well done, nice, mate. mate. Well, there's your blue eye cod, buddy. Yeah, and hold that down. And then that was on a spin reel, mate. It was, mate. Hold that up. It was, uh, what do you reckon? 400 and something metres, we said. Yep. That is a lump of a fish. Now, mate, that's the, the blue eye. Look at that eye. See why they call it a blue eye cod? A very deep water fish, and that's why they got the big eye down there. It's pitch black down there, and you can imagine how dark it would be down there, and it's all bits and pieces and crazy fish in that awesome. depth of water. Um, but to get one on the first drop, we're and pretty it wasn't lucky. And they're long either, mate. It was uh, literally hit the bottom and bang, and 
team effort bringing it up. Because yeah. It's a long way back up, but uh, maybe I'm we can cut, we can cut this in three pieces, yeah. mate. There's plenty of six pieces. There's plenty of fish there. But, uh, yeah, that's a special fish, yeah. really. This week's Berkeley Catch of the Week goes to Tim Holland. Tim caught this 9.2 kilo snapper off Long Reef in 35 metres of water, float lining salted pilchards. That's a fantastic snapper. For that great fish, we're sending you a Berkeley prize pack in the mail real soon. With the boat in position, it was time to deploy the Dyer electric reels and put them into action. So as you can see here, it's counting how deep we are. So we know we're in about 370 metres, nearly 400 metres at the moment. So we'll just watch that as it goes down. We, we come here for a feed. You don't come here for a, it's not much of a sport, to be honest. It's easy, drop it down and wind it up. And it's not like going for yellowfin or going for marlin. No, it's a different type of fish, like That's you right. said. It's, um, it's a long way out. It is a long way out, so you have to always take care, make sure You've got a suitable boat because the weather out here. I've been out here today. Boat, we're lucky we're it's flat it can in the change, but it can change within very quickly. Hour, yeah, so. and we're lucky we're on a big boat. So yeah, we are, and uh, in a bit of luxury today. That's it. It's great. So there's a few boats out here. Surprising, you know. I've actually when the yellow fin are on, uh, and it's not far around, you know, like not far away because the fin they're showing up now. I've counted 70 something boats out here, boat. You know, it's crazy. There's boats everywhere, and we're 40 k's out to sea. You know, it's a long way out. No, there we are. We're on the bottom now. We're on the bottom. All right, so we're on the bottom. Just gotta wait for the bites now. How are we going there, Rob? Yeah, I'm getting there. Well, Robbie's on the spin reel. We've got the electric, we've swapped the sides because it was going under the boat. Now, I'm not sure, we've got a little bit of weight on there, feels a bit more than a sash, but uh, we'll find out while we're watching Robbie. <laughs> it's, good, it's good fun watching Robbie. Uh, we're we're about a 20 minute head start. <laughs> <laughs> we promised him, didn't we? Yeah, we promised him. You having fun, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> As our first drop hit the surface, we struck out, but not to worry as Robbie was still whining. Hopefully, he'll have more luck. 450 metres of winding for one gem fish. At least it's better than nothing. Jimmy. Well, there we go. That's after your hard work, boys. <laughs> you got us a little Jimmy. Probably the smallest one I've ever seen. Yeah, it was a half hour of hard work. Not sure if I had a fish, and then that's all I got. These get uh, a lot bigger than this, but they are great eating. Even though they look ugly, um, they are beautiful eating fish, and you can see the teeth on them. Can we get Serious set your... of chompers on him. Yeah, exactly. Well, mate, look, that's another drop, and uh, fish on board. One nil. It's worse when you bring it up and you got nothing. All that hard work for nothing. Yeah. Looks like. Uh, we only hit the bottom of this um, reef and uh, away we go, we're all on. Look at that. Oh, nice. What do you reckon, Bo? Oh. You've got two little jemmies. We've got the blue eye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. It's come up with a bit of a tangle but Bo's hooked up to a nice blue eye. After we get untangled, I'm still looking at 300 or so metres to go. Well, mate, looks like that fish just got his eye on you. So. <laughs> it does, mate. <laughs> we, uh, we're both hooked up. You're still coming up over there. We're Louis still going. In that one, but that's a good fish, mate. Both still blue eye cottons are beautiful fish. There's all, so much meat on that fish, heaps of meat. So you've done well. But we've still got our fish to come. I reckon we've got a bigger fish. <laughs> I reckon. Let's see, eh? Yeah. But uh, well done, boys. Thanks, Good mate. work. How was that, Robbie? Unreal.
So Bo, I reckon we need two gaffs. Look at this, this is um, this has put a lot of pressure on this reel. I'll have to start winding in a minute because they are wind at this reel, but there is some weight there, mate. There is, mate. I'm uh, very anxious to see what's going to come out of the depth on this one. And We've only got 100 metres to go. I think it's going to be a big fish. Yeah, I hope, well, I hope so anyway. It could be, it could be two blue eyes. Cool, you mate. Know? Yeah, it could Look be. that rod bending over, but. I know. There it is. Colour there on the right, on the right. Oh, two. Two. Oh, that's the way you do it, boys. Okay, second gap for the next one. Yeah, oh, right. Don't forget the sack plate. Woohoo! Well, how about that, boys? Two blue eye. Not as big as yours, Bo. Not as big as the original one, but two on the same. Uh... On the, that's why the reel, you can see it was, it was struggling a little bit to have two beautiful fish like that, but. Uh, this is, mate, you don't get days like this a lot where you just get blue eye after blue eye. You always get a mixture of jemmies, but we've had a great run so far. We've had a cracker. There's a, we've got four big blue eye now, is it? Yeah, exactly. And, um, wow. What an special. amazing fish. Beautiful. There'll be some nice fillets in the fridge tonight, mate. You're not wrong, mate. Yeah, well, there you go. And having good quality gear, like we're using the uh, Tenacom 1000, uh, they get you great fish. And, Really, it does look at you send the boys they use the spin gear and it was it was great fun. Oh, but it's hard great work. fun for about half a dozen times, but it is hard work, but yeah, it's uh it's repaying as well, but this is good fun too. Yeah. This one's had a go at it, like on the way up something's had a go at it. Oh yeah, it's got a hole in it. Like somebody's grabbed this on the way up, so what could, a bit of shark. There could be a bit of struggling with that as well. Yeah, exactly. So and there's some big sharks down there, so um but uh, beautiful fish and uh good good start of the morning, isn't it? Well done mate. Good work. Well today, as you can see, we're using electric reels and I'm using a Tenacom U1000 and Louis, you sell a lot of these reels and they're a great value reel, aren't they? Yeah, it's only been introduced probably about a year ago into the Australian market. Yep. Um, originally had the Tenacom wall, great reel. This is pretty much the same reel, same gearbox, same pulling power, the whole lot. The only difference is really the handle and the paint job, but the good thing is they're 300 bucks cheaper. And they take the bling off it, so it makes it a lot more affordable. And as you've seen so far today, it's done a great job. It yeah, is this combo here with the Grand Wave rod, which is a beautiful rod that goes with it. It's like, um, you can pick it up for say, $1,100, braid, rod, reel, the whole lot, ready to go. And that's right, and that's really affordable. Now, years ago, you just pay $1,000 or plus just for the reel. Yeah. So. And with the price of fishing these days, you catch a couple of blue eye, it definitely pays for it. It's, yeah. a lot, it's a lot easier than uh, the whole winching. That's right, exactly. Now, Lou, you've got a full range of these and the uh, next model up, the Tenacom Bull. Yeah. Um, whereabouts are you located? Yeah, we're at the 74 to 76 Victoria Road, the Ramoyne. We carry the Bull, the U, the Mega Twin, all the electric die oils, reels. Yep, and uh, go to Louis' uh, website, it's Otto's Tackle World. Yeah, you can check us out uh, online or in the shop. That's right, and drop in and see there, they'll, they'll spill it up and get it ready, and you can come out here and have a great day's fishing. Very important, and I just mentioned this before, and I can't stress it enough. Just do not tighten this. It's so tempting to tighten this drag up and put more pressure on, but guarantee, Lou, if we do that, we'll lose the fish. Yeah, you'll just bust off. Just take it easy, take your time. You've got a good fish on. Let the reel do what it has to do. If you want to run, let it run. Don't worry. Yeah, Better get him. That's right. It's still coming, and we've, we've still got 412 metres to go, but with the boat rocking and that as well. When, we when that boat goes down in the swell, it takes that pressure off and it'll wind a bit in, you know? So when the boat goes up, well, that's where the, the drag starts to kick in and then vice versa. It's like, it's like lifting the rod and winding down. So hopefully we've got, I'd like to see one big fish, Lou. One big fish. Yeah. Hopefully one big one, not two. Could have three on there, you don't know, but one big one will be, be the goal. Yeah, that's it, exactly. All right, well, we'll keep on waiting. We've still got 172 metres to go. Uh, the rod, as you can see here in the background, the rod's still buckled over. Here it goes. Here, over here. Oh, look at that. Woo! -hoo -hoo. It's just one, isn't it? Good blue eye, Lou. Huh? It's big. Ah! Wow. There you go, Lou. Well, there's a, a beautiful big blue eye cod. Uh, God, he put up a good fight. He did, he fought all the way to the top, didn't he? I thought he was going to be a little bit bigger, to be honest, but uh, beautiful fish. That's a big fish, yeah. That's probably about, like, 
15, yeah, 15 kilo. So, and we're lucky, like that took probably a good, what, 35, 40 minutes to bring in. And lucky a shark didn't grab it on the way. Yeah. Now you got a big one this morning, so we'll have to measure these up, though. We will, we will, I'm not sure we will. Boys, like you, everyone knows, you play NRL. It's not all about uh, football. Uh, you guys, out of football, you love your fishing, don't you? Yeah, we really do. And you know, to do something like we did today is great. You know, Bo and I don't get a chance to do this on our days off too much. Fish with blue eyes, so uh, we get out every chance we get, and uh, it's made it's, it's had a great deal of fun today. And, and look, you both live up near Newcastle, so you got, you know, we've been with Bo on Lake Macquarie. It's a great fisheries, and uh, we'll probably do some more fishing out of there before the series end, because at the moment there's some great tailor and salmon up there. Yeah, the tailor and salmon are in there at the moment and they're uh, going mad. They can more or less throw a teaspoon at them when you yep. hit one. So, no, uh, it's a, uh, a great outlet for us. Obviously, our job's pretty intense and time consuming. And yes. And every chance we get to, uh, yeah, enjoy fishing and come out on days like this, yeah, we jump at it and love it. That's right, because you guys pretty much train five days a week, don't you? Yeah, a lot of people don't really understand how intense sort of uh, being a football player is. We get one or two days off depending on the schedule and I guess, yeah, if we can use those days and, and get away from that environment and, and be in this environment, uh, love it. That's right, it just takes your ma mind away from your job, you know? It does. It is a job, isn't it? It really? is a job, it's a full-time job and, um, yeah, I, I think, if anything, uh, it always helps you when you get back to work, be keen there and, and get back on the footy field. That's right. All right, Louie, we're sitting out here at the Browns. We've just been bust off on both of our electric reels and, uh, probably going to head off and chase some uh, kingy soon but we're just going to run through the setup we're using out here obviously we're in a lot of water about 450 meters of water I think we're in so we've got some pretty heavy gear and um, you want to run us through what sort of leader and uh, trace we're using here Lou? Yeah no worries Bo. Generally we use about 400 pound main line and about 250 300 pound leaders. Generally you have the hooks spaced where they just sort of can't touch each other don't want them sort of catching each other on the way down so when you make them make them a little bit of distance between them something about three kilos you need at brown three or four kilos it's fairly heavy isn't it to get down there quick obviously yeah. it takes a fair while to get down there yeah there's wind and current out here most of the time so you've got to get it down there what we run is about a four meter breakaway from the bottom to this so about 80 pound line so if you do snag the bottom you only lose your sinker you get your gear back there's a few fish on there you get them back too but it's always good to get the fish up and we're using circle hooks today what's the main purpose of circle hook? The main purpose of the circle hook is it's so deep down here that basically the fish hook themselves and they can't get away because once it gets in the corner of their mouth you can go away and have a cup of coffee and come back and they're generally still hooked up. So that's the main reason for it. And baits, we've got a few different baits. We've got a bit of squid, we've got uh, obviously a few pilchards and we're using the squid so I'll just run through a, a quick technique. So we put the pilchard on through the eye two or three pilchards, more or less how many you get on your size hook, isn't it? That's right, yeah. And then after you fill your hook up, we use a bit of squid just for a stopper. It, um, obviously a bit a bit tougher than the pilchard, so it'll be a stopper and stop all the other bait falling off the end of your hook on the way down. If you get lucky enough to get a couple of stripers on the way out or something like that, that's a great bait too. Don't be scared to use a big bait, you know, that wouldn't even, wouldn't even worry a big blue eye. Alright, that's a uh, pretty simple technique we've been using today, we've been uh, fairly successful you'd call it. Yeah, good numbers today. Yeah, been good. The afternoon was getting on, so the skipper pointed the big girl west, and we took off for a jigging spot called the peak not far off Sydney, the try of luck for some kingfish. You always know when you're on the spot, if you see other boats doing the same thing as you. So it's jigs to the bottom and let the hard work begin. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Good work, Bo. Oh. What was that on, Bo? Mate, that's on the jig. On the jig? About time yeah. you put some effort in. I did, mate. I saw old mate over there hooked up and I put a bit more effort in and Booyah! Good work. I think it's the, uh, the Go green, mate. Go mate! The green one. So I don't want to speak too soon, but... Must have give you a bit more stick. Oh, oh no! no! Oh! Popped it. What do you reckon? That was a king. Yeah, I know, but why would it... Uh, just come I out. Didn't, just I didn't come give out. it too much curry. No, just come out. It happens. And then it goes from bad to worse. When this bloke turns oh. up, Bo deploys his jig, and of course, Semi the Seal grabs hold of it. Now. Yeah, he's still got it. Lou was dragging his jig behind the back of the boat as the skipper was driving us back up to the spot, and he hooks up. I guess that's one way of jigging Lou. After a quick fight, Lou's got this bonito, another species for the day.
Come on, mate. Woohoo! You having a sleep, were you, mate? No, I was actually having something to eat. Having <laughs> something to eat. So we've been jigging pretty relentlessly for the last half hour or so. Yep. You dropped one, I, broke I dropped, one off. I, I dropped one before and oh, it's hard to get motivated when you're not getting <laughs> buys, but. Barracuda. Oh. Um. All that for a barracuda, eh? Yeah, little sucker. No, Come on, Bo. No, you do that, dude. No pressure, mate, no pressure. No, nah, none at all. Got a nice bet on your rod, Come bud. on, mate. Come on, mate. Gonna drop down next to you and see if I can track one. <laughs> Beautiful, that's the, the new Solitus as well. It is, broke, mate. Broke it in, mate. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's got to get on the reef. Come on, pop it, pop it wide, pop it wide, pop it wide, pop it wide. That's it. Come on, going. That's it. You got him now. Oh, oh, that high position. Pop it wide, quick, little pup. Get turn him around. Get his head around. That's it. Robbie's on as well. Good work, mate. Looks like all's happening. Come around the back of the boat, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna get around that side. Looks like we might be on a, a biting patch. Oh, don't let me go over here. Get him up. Away from Robbie. Pull him over, Rob. He's going under the boat. Oh, no. Oh! Just go easy. They pull him hard. Oh no! Oh, Robbie! <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, matey. Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, good work, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nice, Bowie. Good work, mate. Oh, we're about to move and everything, and uh. Mate, that is a good. It might even hit that meter mark, I reckon. The system pays it. off. You're close to it. Yep. There you go. We've got a tape measure here so we can measure it. Measuring wise down there if you want. Yep. Yep. Look at that for a fish. Good yeah. work, buddy. Hey, we didn't want to let you down, Lou. <laughs> hey. What have we got? Oh, it's not 90, 92 centimetres. There you go. So 92 centimetres. Good fish, mate. Good solid fish. It's got a big fat belly on it. And uh, you know, catching a fish like that, anyone would be happy. Jump in here, Robbie. Yeah, great run too. Did you, you seen yours similar? Yeah, mine was similar, but a little bit smaller. It got a bit of colour underneath, and lines got tangled, so I just let it go, and then um, just snapped me as Bo was pulling his. So up, braid probably went cross braid or whatever, yeah, something yeah, like that. Snapped so, at the braid. Mate, great fish, well done, Bo. Stug, mate. Very happy with that. With the sun setting, it was time to head back to the marina and a well-earned beer. So here we are boys, back on dry land at Sydney Game Fishing Club, mate. What an amazing day. Great day on the water, and that was the first for Robbie and I out there with the blue-eyed cod, and to bag five big fish like we did today, um, one that I remember. Yeah, it was a pretty awesome day. And look, we could have got more, but we, look, we got enough fish. We could have spent the whole day out there and, and bagged out if we wanted to, but we got enough to take home and uh, have a pretty delicious dinner. That's right, how'd you go, Robbie? Really great, um, had a good time with you guys, so thanks for having me on the show. Thanks to Mike from Gale Force for having us out there, and uh, you know, I had a great time, something I don't normally get to do, fish for blue cod, so. We've got the I'll, Kingies too, and yeah. I managed to bust oh, it off, yeah, and double hooked up. So yeah, I feel sorry, sorry about on that, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Two good kings are coming up in the boat, and they just cross paths, and because and braid over braid, something's got to give. That's it, so. Yeah. Uh, Still anyway. at me a bit, but. Okay. <laughs> we got one big one on board, so that's all that matters now. And that's it, look, it's, at the end of the day, we went out for a jig, had some fun, but yep. the blue eye was just amazing, and, and that's what we are really after today. Now we've got to thank uh, Louis Lengel from Otto's Tackle World in Des Moines. We do, yeah. Yeah, he's a great bloke, and any of the gear you've seen on today's show, you can get from Louis. Uh, drop in at uh, Otto's Tackle World in Des Moines, and he'll give, look after you and give you the right price as well. Mate, time to go. Oh, actually, we've got to bag some fish. Bag some fish Lots of fish. Like <laughs> well, let's go away, mate. All right, you've been watching Fish and Hunt Australia. We'll see you somewhere around this country of ours next week. the weekend, I'm gone again. Fishing my cares away So if I hook a big one Or I hook a small one I'm 
I'm hooked on fishing again. I'm hooked on fishing again.